everybody, it's Jill with Angel Creations. Welcome back to my craft room. Happy Monday, everybody. Today we're going to be using one of these signs from the Dollar Tree. It's got the one with the hooks on. You can go landscape or the other way like that. Um, we're just going to leave those alone. As a matter of fact, we're going to leave this whole frame alone because... I love it just the way it is and it's going to be gorgeous for this project but I do want to tell you if you are going to do this project it does have a little bit of a veneer and um, you are going to want to stuff it up a little bit I did that a little bit before we got on here and then take a nice you know microfiber cloth and make sure you get all that dust off but if you're going to do this project with stick-on letters or vinyl cutting from Silhouette or Cricut, you're going to need to rough that up and kind of get that little veneer off of that. All right, so this is going to be a nice and easy Dollar Tree easy peasy. So what we're going to do is it's all Dollar Tree. I have um, a few little paper, not paper clips, cl um, what do you call these? Little clothespins. They're adorable. They come in like three different little tiny sizes at the Dollar Tree. So I have those. And then I cut out our saying with Cricut vinyl from the Dollar Tree. And then we're gonna cut some of these gorgeous leaves off. They call them maple leaves at the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna try my darndest to incorporate this beautiful ribbon that a subscriber friend Linda gave to me and um, it's got leaves it's from the Dollar Tree and I did not own this so thank you Linda and it's got beautiful leaves all over it so we're gonna do something we'll make a bow we'll do something I haven't quite developed the ribbon part into this yet but we'll figure that out I hope everybody had a wonderful wonderful weekend so my saying says fall for Jesus he never leaves and I already have that on here with press and seal glad press and seal is what we use for our contact or our carrier uh, sheet or some people call it a transfer tape so let me just make sure that's going to stay on my press and seal here and then we're just going to transfer that right onto our beautiful surface that we did not even have to touch now you can touch it you can paint it you can stain it um, it's just so beautiful, just like it is, I decided to leave it alone. So I'm gonna just eyeball this and put this right here, and I'm kind of putting it up as high as I can because, I mean, it, I could go a smidge more, but I'm gonna rub this on with my fingertips now um, because I am going to make like a clothesline and hang leaves off of it so I want the word up as high on my frame as possible so let me rub that in real quick yeah I hope everybody had a great weekend I had an awesome awesome weekend very lazy uh, I just really took it easy I'll tell you what we are all fine and good in the hood from that hurricane, but it whooped me, I'll tell you, it whooped me, and I don't know, I don't bounce back like I used to. I didn't know if we have a wire hanging in the camera there, because it just fell. Let me see. No, you guys can't see it. That's good, a wire just fell in front of the camera. All right, <clears throat> I have to put this in a safe, 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 safe place because my cat will eat it. So push it way down in that trash. Okay, so now we have Fall for Jesus. Can you see it? It's kind of a glare. Love it. Okay, 
Now we're going to put our He Never Leaves on, but we're going to put that down as low as we can because these leaves are quite large. I do have other leaves. I went through all my leaves. I considered the leather leaves actually, but I felt like it just needed some color. The leather leaves from the Dollar Tree, I have not seen them out yet this year. These are from last year. They're faux leather and I love them. I love them. So I really considered using those, but you know what? I'm going to just trim off my excess press and seal. I should have already done that. It just makes it a lot easier to work with. And then we'll take a word off the backing. That one doesn't want to stay. Sometimes I feel like if I run my finger down the back of it as I pull, it kind of helps. It know what I want it to do. All right, so he never leaves. Amen to that, right? How lucky are we that we have a Lord that never, ever leaves us. No matter how bad we are, right? He, oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got to fix the H in he. He never leaves us. He never leaves us, never forsakes us. Sorry, trying to concentrate at the same time here. Uh, but we're going to go like this and try to get the rest of it on. And then we'll go back to that H and give that a little bit more personal attention. All right, let's see. Take that off. Yes, he never leaves us or forsakes us, and boy, do we give him reason to. At least I should speak for myself, huh? Okay. Alrighty. There it is. Press that down. It's all fixed and even. And now we have fall for Jesus. He never leaves. Alright. And of course, leaves and Jesus in fall, because it's fall, right? And Jesus is big because we're going to always make him big and capitalize. And then he is capitalized because he, Jesus, never leaves. And leaves are the star. Well, not really the star of our show. Jesus is. But we're putting leaves on, so that's capital. All right. So that's what my thought process was behind the uh, font on today's project. All right, so now we're going to take, I kind of measured and a piece of um, jute, just a regular piece of jute from Dollar Tree. And then I put a knot on each side because that's where I'm going to glue to. And I think that's going to be perfect. So what we're going to do first though is cut off a few leaves. I'm going to do three leaves in total. So I'm going to take the most beautiful leaves on here that I think is the most beautiful leaves. <laughs> Does that make any sense? No. Alright, and then we're going to cut those right off short so that they don't have their stem showing or do we want their stem showing kind of looks cute with their stem showing let's see i already cut this one off of course well let's see let's see how these uh clips go on i think that would be adorable with their stems all right we're gonna go for this with our we're gonna put our little clips on our leaf and we're keeping the stem on except for the middle one and that one we'll put straight down like that and now of course what the heck is this tool this is a staple remover i didn't even see that jump out of there all right so now we are going to put our little clothesline on our little clips and then we will glue those actually let's just put our glue 
clothesline right on to our surface and that's what we're going to do. We're just going to glue that right on under the word fall for Jesus. And I'm just going to press that little knot that I made. I made a little double knot. I'm just going to press that in to my little glue. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to push it like that and glue the same way right up underneath fall for Jesus. I'm going to take my tweezers this time and I'm going to put it right in that glue. I don't want glue on my tweezers though. I think the knot is cute. It gives it character. All right. And texture, right? A little bit of texture. So we got our clothesline. We're going to let that glue up for a minute. And then what we're going to do is kind of make this go down like a clothesline with our middle leaf. So that will be our first leaf. And what we're going to do is we're just going to glue that down. We're going to put a little glob of glue and that's where our leaf and our clip will go. Our first little clip. Oh my gosh, this is just adorable already. And then we're going to do the same thing on all sides. We're kind of not really ready here, but we're going to try to put the next one down. So I'm just going to put this one on the back of my leaf. I'm on the back of my clip, I mean, and hang that one on my line. just like so. And I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. I'm going to put my heat ton of glue right on my clothespin and I'm going to come over here and put that hanging on my line as well. So cute. Very, very cute. All right, so while those are setting up, I can't really lift it and show you yet. I think we will take, let's see. I really want to use this ribbon, but I don't feel like using it as a hanger will do the trick. So, let me see how small of a little messy bow I can make with this, if I can get it open, for like the corner or something. So let's just see if we can make a little messy bow. We'll use this little scraper as our, whoops, as our little bow, whatever. I don't even know how many times I've gone around now. So you do your little bow, and then I'm just going to cut this off over there, and cut it again right there in half, and then we're just going to make an X with those little stacks. Take a piece of jute, pinch those little bows up. Wrap our jute around the middle. Which also gives it character and dimension. It was so fun. We had a wine. Oh, oh, oh. I just unraveled it. We had a wine. Um, wine or adult beverage night on our Facebook live Saturday night. I hear, a, I hear a weird sound. can't tell where it's coming from. And um, every time I say the word, every time I said the word texture, um, we all had to take a sip. It was just so much fun. 
I wasn't thrilled with my project. You know how that happens all, once in a while, right? You can't always have a winner, winner, winner chicken dinner. Um, because my stencil didn't work, but I know it was my own fault. I know it was my own fault because I know what I did wrong. I used beadboard in the craft. I don't have it handy or I would show you. And I used a piece of beadboard, real beadboard in the craft. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. I'm going to pull that around and tie that again on the front because I'm going to just make a little bow and use the bow and the little whatever hangs down from the bow. I'm going to use those little tails. I just, I'm going to add more character and dimension. Anyways, if you are not joining me over on Saturday, we had, we had, I think, three of my YouTube subscribers on Saturday night. We had Gloria, we had Terry Ann came in late, I believe. Um, just trying to tighten my bow down. I'm going to give it a little tiny bit of blue that we won't even see just to keep that knot safe. Okay, we used it. We used it. And look at, oh, I just glued it to myself. But look at how adorable. Cut our tails to match the other tails. And we just have a simple, tiny, little, messy bow with the leaves in it. And I think that's just going to be adorable up here in the corner. We're just going to add that right up there. Or should we put it in the middle? Maybe we should put it right here on this clip. Kind of like it in the middle of the bow. I'm going to put it in the middle of this clip. Isn't it funny? We have our minds going one way and then immediately, there we go. I decided to change that up and I'm not going to add a hanger to this because we have a hanger in the back of our like I said easy peasy Dollar Tree easy because everything is from the Dollar Tree the frame the leaves the vinyl which you could do stickers for the jute and the ribbon how cute is that? Look at that. Love, love, love it. I know there's a little glare there. Look at those beautiful leaves. Just love it. Look at the color it adds. I love, love, love it. And I love the saying. All right, I want to remind you all, if you have not tried freeze-dried candy, you have to try freeze-dried candy. It's making my mouth water just thinking about it. I love it. All right, this is a Jolly Rancher I'm saving. It's a freeze-dried Jolly Rancher from Bumble Freeze. And um, at the end of every single video that I ever, ever do, there is always a link to Bumble Freeze candy. And Nathan will send this anywhere. He will ship it wherever you are. Um, so I am, look at, I've almost eaten all of this. Nathan, Jill needs more. She can't stay out of it. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the God's honest truth. I, I sit and I craft and I reach into it and look, it's almost gone. Almost gone. And these are fruit roll-ups. I wouldn't touch a fruit roll-up, a regular fruit roll-up. I wouldn't touch one. If you paid me, I wouldn't. I don't like them. But give me a freeze-dried one. Oh, I can't keep my paws out of these. This was a full bag. Anyway, I love it. I love it. I love it. And I just have to share it with you guys because it's very different and it's delicious. It just makes the whole candy just more intense 
it just the texture in your mouth is just crazy good so go ahead on take a little look on his website try some out i also have had skittles i already ate all those too i know i'm a diabetic and that's why i keep telling him he's got to come out with some sugar-free stuff but I don't know. Sugar-free stuff never as good as the real stuff, if you ask me. But anyways, I've had this for a while, and I am pacing myself, but... <laughs> All right, everybody, check out his website, and I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you have a great week this week. I will see you tomorrow for Tree Hall Tuesday, and I actually have a surprise in store for you guys for tomorrow, so make sure you guys come back. Um, people who were on my Saturday Night Live might know what my surprise might be tomorrow, but um, yeah. Come back for Tuesday Tree Hall. And until then, I hope that you be good and do good. Bye now. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Sharing is caring. So share it with your friends, family, and social media. And do all the things. And I will see you soon. Until then, be good and do good. <laughs> Bye now.